Gina was always hardworking. She she was the one who would, you know, uh, go up the roof and <laughs> clean. You know, we, things that we don't ask her to do, she would do it. And uh, she, uh, ano sa Tagalog yun? Um, <laughs> she had uh, may ku may kusa. si Gina Makayos. Dito po ko pinanganak sa Salngan, Chateau Negros Oriental, Barangay Napakao. Dito po ako lumaki. Nag-aral ng elementary high school dito po. A source ng income ng papa ko po sa mama ko po dati, yung nagdadamo po sa may mga tubuhan kasi madali po tubuhan dito po. Nagdadamo po sila. Tapos yung mga kapatid ko naman po ay nag, ano po, nagtatrabaho sa lancha, yung isda po. Yun, pag nabinta, nakabinta po sila, yun po yung may ano po kami. May dalang isda or may ano po siya, dalang pera pa uwi. Si mama naman po ay ano po siya, since elementary po, nag ano po siya, nagtitinda po ng hot cake. Butchie po yung tawag sa amin, ganito po ay donut. O kaya ano po yung maruya, yung tinitinda po niya. Tapos ice, yung may ibang tao, nag ano po yung may ice candy, may mga ref. Nakikuha po siya ng ice candy, tapos porsyento po yung nakukuha niya po, yung commission po kung ilang po yung ice candy na bibinta niya, yung ganun po. Si Papa po, uh, high school po ako, hindi na po nagtrabaho si Papa. Ay, may trabaho po siya, yung sa Swertress, yung parang uh, uh, sa bahay po siya. Tapos yung may pupunta po doon sa lapag mag-record ng ano, high alay po yung tawag po doon dati. Yung mga trabaho niya, kasi since ano po, high school, hindi na po siya yung parang makaanap po sa kampo ng high school po. Kasi yung parang hihingali na po siya. Kasi dati, nakagat na ng aso yun, tapos nahulog po siya sa ano, 10-wheeler truck, nahulog po siya doon. Nirapon siyang huminga. Pag punti lang po yung ano niyan, tubig, dala, inihingal, inihingal na po siya. Kaya araw na po ang trabaho nga niya. Ani po kami magkapatid po. Yung dalawa ko pong kapatid na lalaki kasi three boys, three girls po kami. Tapos yung nagpumpasok po eskulahan, yung, yung ako po tapos yung sunod po sa akin, na wala na po siya ngayon, so makabili ang buhay na po. Nag-aaral po kami yung element, elementary, nag-aaral kami sa Central School sa Buanggita, tapos po, Hirap ng buhay, pero nakakayana na po yung buhay kasi ano po, may kunti pa kaming lote dati, dote, na taniman ng mga kamuting kahoy, mga saging, San Pablo yun sa amin, tap, sa bahay, sa Tagalog, tapos yung ano po, kamote. Kumbaga, hin, mahirap po yung buhay, pero nakakaano po kami, nakakaahon po kasi yung mga crops naman po na yun ay parang walang bigas, pero yun yung po pang ano, pampayit po ng bigas sa amin. Buhay na buhay po kami doon. tagpi tagpi bahay tapos may ano plastic sa ako ganyan happy memories din yun kasi galing ng papa ko yun at yung pinagpagura ng papa ko na ano as in yung hindi yung nangutang nang ganun kwarto kwarto haro hindi uso ng kwarto pag sa kanimo taas alam mo yung taas sa bisaya parang taas na doon tulog lahat eh nakahilira na dili na, dili yung parang usong kwarto ko asa ka magbisahi ka at turan din pag sa kanan lang nakaibisita Naitabil-tabil na sako, yung sakong pinadugtong-dugtong. Yun na, hawiin mo lang, tas ikaw na pang magbihis ka, ganyan. Ano, tapaka ano, yung literal na kung ano yung bahay ko ba na, yung iba nga may kwarto-kwarto, yun kami wala. Pag akit mo, yun na yun. Kusina, yun na yun din. Parang, akit mo sa kusina, yun na yun. Pag akit mo sa taas, yun na din yun. Wala may kuyente. Ramparilya. Tas kada magkuan, magtuon nga, imudere o, puno na sa usok. Tas one time pa nga, ano, nag-aaral ako, tas nung, physics na notebook ko nas, nasunog so part lang naman kasi yung mga nakatulog ka tas ano kasi ramparilya so puno na yung ano doon ano walang kuryente parang ano na yung nagka-kuryente as usual late na rin kami nagkaroon ng CR din alam na yun tabi-tabi ano yung ganyan fertilizer ganun. ganyan CR kami doon dati parang heaven yung pakiramdam na may sa CR Nagka, nagka-cake lang ako doon kina ano kuya boy 19th birthday ko yun yung nag-birthday po nagka-cake wala, alam mo, pobre. Pag mag-cake ka mo, hindi na ito, nakayo. Kami gani, pag, ano, pag naka-sardinas, sige, sa una, 555, uso. Nagdato na ka. Nagdato, naglaki mo, nagdato na ka. Elementary ko, may dirty ice cream. Yung parang may, salama, may kasama pang mga kuku, minsan yung ice cream, dirty ice cream. Pero yung literal na ice cream, nandun sa ano, kinakuya buong ice cream, tapos ano, cake. Cake na ano, si Benny pa lang ano kung nalaga ng dati. Sa 
sabi kong ako lang na no, pag matapos ako ng high school, gusto po yung pupunta may nila para mga tulong. Ngayon po kasi yun po yung namin. Halos lahat po ng mga babae po dito dati, pag walang hindi po nakapag-aral, automatic po yun. Mga tulong po sa Maynila. Siguro ano, sabi ko yung mama dati, na ano, sabi ko, pag may ano lang talaga mam para sa akin ng high school man, ay ng college, magsikap ako na ano talaga, kahit nasa gabi ako mag-aral, tapos sa umaga ako magtrabaho, araw ako magtrabaho, gagawin ko talaga lahat yan. Our friend Marisa Chikyampo uh, referred Gina to us. So she was turning 18, 18 when she joined our household. Every time we have a helper, our, both of us, we would get uh, moved by their plight and we try to help in different ways. So even with our former helpers, we would, we would try our best to help them in some way. Gina was always hardworking. She, she was the one who would, you know, uh, go up the roof and <laughs> clean. You know, we, things that we don't ask her to do, she would do it. Ano sa Tagalog yun? She had... Uh, May kusa. May kusa. <laughs> yeah, she had kusa. That's right. She had initiative. And uh, of course, that's what we, we liked about Gina. She just kept on working from morning till evening. Uh, life was easy, you know, when you have someone like that. When she came to us, syempre, of course, we interviewed her first. We learned that she was the youngest of six kids. So all of them um, did not finish college. And then Gina uh, was able to finish high school. At the start, she would tell me that she really had good grades. From her stories, she graduated as a valedictorian. So, and then she'd always say that she was good at math. So when we'd go to the market, um, I would test her math skills to see if she was really ano, good at math. So, so I, I think from the very start, during the interview, she said that she wanted to study. She wanted to finish her schooling. And yes, we kind um, of like looked at each other. And even without saying it, we, we just we knew we, we were going to help out somehow. But of course, but it, it she took, did not it took, ask. No, no, she never asked. She never asked. But uh, Parang it's just her dream to one day finish after yeah. saving up for. Yeah. And then uh, we found a way of doing it. She, we were looking for a correspondent school, a, a distance learning school. And she finished in 2009. Mm. Five years, not bad. I remember, you know, she nothing, nothing changed. She kept on doing whatever she she needed to be doing, and uh, but I knew that Yun she would she would still be studying because she, you know, maybe at nine o'clock in the evening she'd go to her room and she'd just study the whole time. Uh, I was suspecting probably she'd stay awake until two in the morning studying, but then. Uh, I, I think much more than that. I think she she probably slept at four. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but she she did. She finished it. Even when she was studying, she was already doing um, bookkeeping yeah. duties for yeah. BSI, our company. So, ganon. <laughs> so um, basically, she already knew where her path was. Yeah. And even after graduation. Uh, when she was already handling all of the bookkeeping things, um, she still kept on working, helping in the house. She still takes care of the kids. She still takes care of the house. Uh, not, not in the same way. Now. Not, not in the oh. same way uh -huh. now, you know. But because there's so many, so much uh, uh -huh. office work to be done. Yeah. Sa, sa bahay, uh, may gathering kami sa bahay. With the, with the driver, with the other helpers, and uh, you know, after prayers, we would share a bit, and then I would ask them how their finances are. Laging, laging problema namin na ano, is, isang common lang, walang pera, kasi sa sweldo, ganyan-ganyan. Siyempre, yung padala ng pera, may, siyempre, may mga emergency, ganyan-ganyan. So, parang kami, ha, ang taas na nga ng sweldo nyo compared to, to other households. 
Pero we would always hear them say, wala silang pera. Dati yung habang nag-aaral pa ako, tas may sweldo din ako kinabosing, tas lagi ka, lagi ka mong tinatasan yearly, naubos pa rin yung sweldo ko. Kasi the day before ng sahod, tumatawag na yung pamilya ko, tas magkapadala. Paulit-ulit yung ganun na style, hanggang tas naghihirap din kami kay bossing din kahit may sweldo. Nag-aaral ako, free yung tuition ko sa kanila. Pero naubos pa rin yung sweldo para sa pamilya ko kasi since breadwinner ako. We talked about how we can help them more. We, we said we'll ano, focus on building their spiritual life first. And then that's when you started yeah. having yeah. parang light groups yeah. with them, yeah. with, with the whole household. Tapos nung hanggang nag-decide na si Kuya, kasi po ulit na yung style na ganun, hanggang nag-decide siya ng 2010 na mag-invest kami sa stock market. I was still, you know, very brand new in the stock market, maybe two years in, in it and learning how it was working and it was working well. I said, I posed a challenge to myself. It was really a challenge, not to them, but to me. I said, if I can help them invest in the stock market, if I can help Gina invest in the stock market, that means I can in, I can help anyone. My whiteboard siya dat, dati, tapos sabi niya, oh, ito yung ano, dapat ganito yung sasahod niyo. Hanyo ba, for example, sasahod ko, ito Gina, ganyan. Tapos yung may nakahiwalay pang emergency fund, parang ganun. Pero siya dati, hindi pa masyadong ma-apply kasi hindi pa ganun ka ano sa utak. Um, it took a long while for, for us to see some results, because but that's how the stock market works. The stock market doesn't give you great results in a year. You know, you, she, she started investing 2,000, uh, 3,000 pesos a month. Tapos parang yung na-apply namin talaga, yung parang nakahiwalay na yung pang-invest sa, pang sa stock market ng ganun. So since na naturuan kami ng ganun, tuloy-tuloy na yung ano, tuloy-tuloy na yung ginagawa namin. Hanggang ngayon po, kung, kung ano po meron kami ngayon, nagdahil po kay Kuya Bupo at saka sa Trolley Ridge Club. That was a big celebration. I was here. I was uh, seated here in the couch. I asked her, uh, can you give me your, your I want to see your portfolio. Proud po ko ipakita sa kanya na umabot na po ng 1 million ang portfolio ko. I told everybody, uh, Gina, you're now a millionaire. <laughs> so that was fun. That was really good. So now she has more than a million. You know, by the age of 60, we estimated probably 30 million. She'll have 30 million, and when you think of 30 million, it's like, wow, that's crazy. Um, I, I'm hoping more, but you know, 30 million is is huge. It's like, it's like the retirement package of a CEO of a small or medium company, and that's why I believe it's this is the path to go. I don't know what's 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 going to happen to her. You know, will she get married? Will she have her own family? I don't know, but. But she told me that she, she wants to continue working with us, so whether, yeah. whether she's single or she's married, that, that, that'll be wonderful. We'll, we'll always be there to support her. Her life will be very, very different from the other helpers. She will have millions when she retires, and she can choose where to live. She can have her own little little house, uh, little apartment, little, little house in the province. You know, she can afford that. The great thing about uh, Gina now is that She's able to help her relatives much, much more. You know, now that she's able to invest her money, uh, a part of her salary, she's able to send her relatives to school and you know help out in so many ways. That for me is a joy. Uh, it's a joy for me to see her do that, being generous to her relatives. Of course, there's a limit, you know, and, yeah. and I'm, the, I'm the one who tells her, no, there should be a limit. You still have to keep investing so that your health will be long term. There are people who help now and then they have nothing mm -hmm. and then they grow poor. So you, you want the help to be continuous. So that's why there has to be limits in terms of helping people. My message for Gina, simply <laughs> Thank you for being part of our family. <laughs> for all the years you loved us and supported us and uh, grew with us. Mahal, mahal ka namin. Thank you. 
Gina, you're part of our family, and sometimes when people think of abundance, it's money. But no, uh, the greatest treasures of life are people, and you are one of them, and you're a special gift that God has given to us. And so thank you so much for your love for the family, your love for the kids. You're almost like a second mother to them. Life would have been very different without you. Thank you also for your patience. You know, we're, we're not perfect employers, but you have always understood and you have also a lot of patience. Mm. So, <laughs> <laughs> thank you also for what you do for the Truly Rich Club. Uh, you have been our ambassador. I would like to say mascot, but ambassador. Ambassador. God bless you more. I'm excited for what's going to happen to your life. Continue to serve, continue to help other people, continue to bless the world. Ako si Gina Makahilos. Ito po ang kwento ng buhay ko. Maraming salamat po sa Truly Rich Club. Yung dating imposible po ay naging posible na po ngayon. Maraming salamat po kay Kuya Bo Sanchez, Ate Maru at sa dalawang alaga po po. Maraming salamat po.